For nearly a month, 27-year-old Pierpaolo Petruzzello was the bionic man science fiction writers have long envisioned, using only his mind to control a biomechanical hand connected to his nervous system. I had a car accident in 2006 caused by a drunk driver. My car turned upside down and I lost my left hand and forearm. My father was devastated and began searching online for projects that could help me. That pioneering project turned out to be at Rome's Campus Biomedico, a university and hospital developing a bionic hand in collaboration with the Santa Ana School in Pisa, Italy. After passing several tests, the Brazilian Petruzzello was enrolled in the Life Hand Project. Four miniature electrodes were surgically implanted in what remained of his left arm. These electrodes helped him recognize and control the biomechanical hand. Basically, we sent him various stimuli. He had to learn how to localize them in his lost hand and fingers. The prosthetic itself was not implanted, only connected through electrodes. I needed a lot of electrical stimulation. Like the majority of amputees, I still perceive my lost hand. As they stimulated my arm with needles, I closed my eyes and tried to think that my hand did exist. You don't have your hand. You don't have your forearm, so how can you control the hand movements? It's difficult to explain. I closed my eyes and repeated to myself, your hand does exist. It's there, it's in place. At a mental level, it's very stressing. I needed to concentrate. I needed silence. Then I said to myself, you can wiggle the fingers, you can pinch, you can clench a fist, you can open your hand, you can just do that. Though similar experiments have previously been performed, Project researchers said this was the first time a patient has been able to make such complex movements in a biomechanical hand using only his mind. The $3 million project was funded by the European Union and took five years to complete. When I succeeded in closing the hand, I felt like I scored a goal at the last minute. It was such an important moment. The researchers looked at me and I understood that we made it. I haven't done all this just for myself. I've lost a hand, but there are people who have lost more and are suffering. I felt like I was helping science, and for this reason, I never gave up. I'm happy now. Their next challenge? Connecting a patient's nervous system and prosthetic limb for years, not just a month. And Petru's yellow is guaranteed one of those limbs. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas.